All right, guys, here's Halo 3 Sucks. This is an obstacle course that I have made with my buddy Drugs Are Bad, okay? We are the only ones that have completed this map so far. Now I'm, I'm using this video in forge mode, but doing this first obstacle to show how it is done. Nobody has gotten past this other than three people, just this first obstacle. So that's how the first obstacle is done. And then the rest, I'm going to be showing you this in uh, the monitor mode and flying through to show you the general route of how to beat this. So there is no checkpoint right here, but once you get past this death ball, there is a checkpoint. So this is the first checkpoint, which then you do a slide jump over to here and just follow the follow my lead. And this is how you do the next jumps. Now when you get up to here, you have to hit this switch right here, which will turn this block on for three seconds, because usually it's not here, and you have to turn around and jump up to here. Once you get past this turret jump, which you have to jump and grab the turret and jump here, and you jump to this ledge, this is the second checkpoint. So if you fail at any of these obstacles, you'll be teleported just like I was there. You have to take those mongooses and ride it right along this track to here. Jump up those stairs, and then you have to hit this switch right here, which will activate this soccer ball that you have to jump on top and ride down this path which then you have to hit the next switch, which will make that soccer ball appear and you have to walk across it to that ledge. Now, once you complete these jumps, when you get to this platform, this is the third checkpoint right here. Now, once you get to here, you have to jump into these two shields and keep bouncing in them until you reach high enough to this platform. Once then you have to jump off to this, hit that up to this platform. Now this, that part of the obstacle is pretty difficult so that's a short checkpoint and this is the fourth checkpoint right here. With these you have to jump to the left of the second one, the right of the third, the left of the fourth to get on top. Now when you get here, you don't actually jump to this ledge to the, that I'm looking at right now. You have to jump on the blocks below and then jump up to the ledge that's right up to the left where I'm going to show you right here. This ledge right there. Once then you have to jump around these two blocks. Then you get on that ledge, jump on the cone there to the left, then you get on top of these blocks, and then you can jump into this little hallway. Now this is the fifth checkpoint when you get into this hallway. You have to slide down this slide without touching these walls or you'll be teleported to the next checkpoint. Once through there, you have to ascend this whole outside of the slide to the top here. Once done with that, you will come into here and you have to figure out a way how to get through all of that clutter. Once you get through that, you are pretty much done with the whole obstacle course. There's only a couple more jumps. When you get in here, grab the ghost, drive up here, and this is the end. Now there is a golf ball here, two goals if you want to play a game, a couple swords if you would like to use them. Other than that, there are two ramps leading up to the top where there is a banshee that you can fly around the rest of the map to see everything again. But again, nobody has gotten near even halfway done, so I would love to see if anybody can beat this. Add me if you'd like Halo 3 Sucks and let me know you want to try it.